The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 883. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. You can now purchase the Tao of Self-Confidence, a guide to moving beyond trauma and awakening the leader within on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Walmart, Indigo, and other major book retailers. Get your copy today. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is the founder and CEO of Flexon, and I'm super excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Camelia Chan. Camelia, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for inviting me on your podcast, Sheena. So I think it's a really refreshing opportunity that and I'm looking forward to this chat. So just to give you a bit of background about myself, I'm the CEO and the co-founder of Flexon, where Flexon is a pioneer in the hardware-based cybersecurity solutions. We started out in Singapore in the year 2007 with a focus on the NAND flash memory storage devices. You must, you might be wondering what is a NAND flash uh, memory storage device. So it's something like solid state drive, the uh, micro SD card, memory card, USB. But we only serve the niche customers, the very niche industry, primarily the industrial medical, military, automotive, and aerospace sectors. And three years back, we kind of diversified into a cybersecurity industry. And then since then, we launched our world-first hardware-based cybersecurity solutions, the x and we more in the store in the next few months. So today, I'm proud to say that Flexon has a global presence with our, our latest office in the U.S. set up just this year. Awesome. Well, first off, congrats to all that. That is amazing. And I also saw you're one of the top 10 women in cybersecurity. So I just want to say congrats to that. And it's it's really great that we've connected through the U.S. PacWise cohort program where, you know, we can connect, be uplifted, have this collaboration because it's so important. And Camelia, what's your cultural background? Okay, I was born as a Malaysia Chinese in a small town of the northern Malaysia and growing up in a multi-nation society speaking more than one language. I did my study in the uh, southern part of Malaysia until I was uh, 18 years old. After that, I self-funded my way to university in Taiwan to study business management with a specialization in IT. In the year 2007, I moved to Singapore to pursue my dream of uh, being an entrepreneur. I have to pick up quite a lot uh, very quickly, but it was definitely the right decision. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I really like the, one of the quotes from Steve Jobs, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition, you know who you want to be. Yeah, so that's the quote I like the most. I love that. Thanks for sharing that. And I, I know as women, especially Asian women, like following our intuition is something we don't do. We know, we know it feels right, but then we still kind of resist because of, you know, how we're brought up. We think we're not good enough or we think we're going to fail. But if we just followed our intuition, just imagine what we, we can achieve. So I love that quote that you mentioned by Steve Jobs. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? I will see self-confidence is like trusting yourself. It means that you have faith in what you can do, even if the result haven't really shown up yet. But it's about believing that your action and your efforts will matter in the long run. So we are looking at more on a long-term basis. So even if the things doesn't sell well or going well at the moment, but you still have a confidence that your choices and the abilities will make a, a very positive difference eventually. So that's how I think about self-confidence. I love that. And it, it's really important to have trust in yourself to know that you're capable, even if you have no clue what you're going to do or how you're going to do it, you just know that you can do it and you'll find a way. 
And because you're able to have that trust, that's when you're going to take action. And even if it, like you mentioned, sometimes we don't have a result or it may feel like it's the wrong action, it's going to lead us to the right path. So I love that definition that you mentioned. And Camelia, what what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I would say that I used to be a pretty confidence person, cruising through life with a clear idea of who I was and where I wanted to go. And I had a roadmap of my dreams, knowing uh, exactly what I wanted and who I aspired to be along the journey. It was like I had my own little compass that guide, guiding me through every twist or turn. So, but then somehow, somewhere along the way, I stumbled upon the magic of the self-confidence. It was like unlocking a hidden treasure chest within myself. So suddenly I started to understand that my potential was even greater than I thought. I began to see new possibility, embrace the challenges and venture into uncharted territories with a newfound courage. And this is why we diversify our business into cybersecurity and are trying to address something which is totally not available in the market. And I, I found that discovering self-confidence wasn't just a game changer. It was a life changer. It's like upgrading from a simple roadmap to a full-blown navigation system where every experience becomes a chance and opportunity to grow and shine. So now my journey feels more exciting and I'm eager to unfold the mysteries of what I can achieve with this uh, newfound self-belief. Thanks for sharing that. And I love how you mentioned you, you found this hidden treasure of confidence and you went out there and did it, especially in the, in the industry that you're in, right? Cybersecurity, tech, it's not, it's very male dominated, right? And then let alone as an Asian woman, um, you know, it's, it's very rare, but I was, you know, really curious, you know, what gave you, you know, what was that aha moment that you realized you're going to go out there and do it? You're going to make it happen. You're going to be the, the entrepreneur that you are today, even making top 10 women in cybersecurity. What was that aha moment that made you go out there and, and do it? So the aha moment for me wasn't about gaining confidence. It was more like realizing the full potentials of the confidence I wish I already had. So life didn't necessarily change, but my perspective this and i started appreciating my strength even more and recognizing that my kind of like self-assured attitude was a super power so now with this understanding i approach life with a same confidence but it's like having an extra boost and uh, challenges are still adventures setbacks are still are just uh, detours so every day is an opportunity to showcase my strength and enjoy the journey. It is not a transformation. It is an enhancement of the confidence that always there. I love that. And thanks for sharing that. And, you know, because of that realization, what's your life been like now? My life? Very good, I would say. Yeah, I'm very enjoy the innovation journey that I've been through. And yeah, it's amazing and fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. I just want to say thank you so much for paving the way to show other women, especially Asian women, that, you know, you can succeed in an industry that's still very male dominated. You know, you are proof that you can make it happen. And like you mentioned, it's not always easy. There's going to be some detours along the way, but that's all part of life. That's all part of entrepreneurship and you just keep moving forward. So I wanted to say that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What'd be that one tip you'd give to her? Okay, I would say, ladies, anything worth achieving is going to be scary, but don't be afraid. Just be brave. It doesn't matter if you are a woman or what kind of background that you have, your race, your religion. It's about your hard work and the ideas that matters. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out some of the work you've done, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? So please uh, stay updated with our latest cybersecurity development at uh, www.flexzone.com, F-L-E-X-X-O-N.com. 
or you can follow up our LinkedIn page. Just search for Flexon, F-L-E-X-X-O-N, and you will be able to find us. Thanks for sharing that. For our listeners, if you want to connect with Camellia, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Camellia's name. Her show notes will pop up along, along with everything else that we talked about. And I just really want to thank Camellia today for taking the time to share her journey and story with us and tips on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Camellia. Thank you. Thank you, Sheena, for having me. Yeah, thanks. Not a problem. It's such an honor having you on the show and sharing your story. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. You can order your copy of Asian Women Who Boss Up Book by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. 